Hey everybody, hope you're doing good. I wanted to uh, talk about a little bit of the um, why it's so ridiculous that somebody, and it happens all the time, but, but these accusations of fear mongering when something as catastrophic as a tsunami that wipes out the East Coast is actually possible. It's literally possible. It's not just dreams. People have been talking about it for years, and now the volcano's going nuts, okay? And it's actually getting worse since yesterday. And I want to say that, you know, here, here's the facts, okay? If you, wanna, if you want the facts, they're in the Bible. And Revelation 8.18 talks about these types of scenarios. So I want to go over it with you. A couple things of the seventh seal. And I kept seeing the number 18 yesterday. Seriously, to the point where I... You know, I thought about it. Anyway, so I, when I'm looking at this, I'm noticing it, it is verse 18, chapter 8. Seventh seal talks about the first angel uh, throws down hail, fire, mixed with blood to the earth. A third of the earth burn up, a third of the trees, and all the green grass. The second angel, you hear the trumpet, and it says, it's like a huge mountain, all on fire, is thrown into the sea. A third of the sea turns to blood, a third of the creatures die, and a third of the ships are destroyed. So there is a huge mountain on fire, which does sound like the Canary Island right now, La Palma volcano. If it was thrown into the sea, it would certainly be fulfilling this scripture. Now, I don't necessarily think that that this scripture is fulfilled uh, right now because of because you know, this is tribulation. This is the seventh trumpet. We're not there yet, but that does not mean something like it would not happen at the time of the rapture. Something devastating will happen at the time of the rapture. So to accuse someone of you know, fear-mongering is ridiculous because the fact of the matter is that people should be terrified who don't know Jesus Christ, who are not saved. They should be terrified. So I hope I am putting the fear into a lot of people. I hope a lot of people are watching that are not saved. And how do you get saved? You believe in the name of Jesus Christ for your sins, that he died for your sins on the cross, made atonement, that he's the Son of God and rose from death on the third day after they crucified him and he paid atonement for your sins for all time and I want to add this because I keep hearing crazy stuff sometimes on YouTube the whole point of getting saved is not to get a house it's to have a relationship with Jesus Christ who loves you he adores you he made you that's the whole point of getting saved and the fact that we're uh, made righteous by faith, according to Scripture, does not mean that we cannot sin and that the whole point of God, God is pure. God hates sin. So when you're born again, yeah, you're born again, you're going to be a new creature in Christ and you're not going to have the attraction to sin as you do, as your old man does. But you're, like I've said before, you're still in this body of flesh that, that has not been glorified at the rapture yet. So yes, yes, repent of sin. You're saved by faith through grace. But that does that mean you don't repent of sin? No. What is, oh, don't say repent. Yeah, say repent. Repent means turn away. Turn away from sin. Turn away from sin. Do everything you can to line up to the, to the image of Christ. Salvation is by faith. But you're working out your salvation, not for it, you're working it out, by letting the Holy Spirit transform you into a better person who is, walks in love, can walk in the Spirit. The whole point of getting a relationship with God, too, is so that you can, you can walk in the Spirit. You can hear from God. He can talk to you. You can talk to Him. You have a relationship with Him. So, let, let, at least on this channel, I want to clear that one up because I hear stuff that's just crazy and and but you are saved by grace through faith Ephesians uh, 8 9 and 10 I mean not of yourself it's a gift to God lest any man should boast so with that said the Bible everything in the Bible is true Jesus came in the flesh he is the Word of God 
the Word of God came in the flesh. His name is Jesus Christ. John 1, the Word came in the flesh and walked the earth. The Word of God is living and everything in that Bible will come true, including Revelation 8.18 and the seventh seal and all the angels that blow the trumpet and then horrendous, horrible things happen on the earth. This is the tribulation. And also, even at a time like this, when the beast system is in your face, when the mark of the beast is literally being made in front of you as we speak, and they're already conditioning people to not be able to buy or sell without getting some thing shot into your arm, which has incredibly evil things in it, including computer nanotechnology, which will connect you to AI. Okay, yeah, I, I will warn people about this. Uh, in Revelation 14, there will be an angel who announces when the mark of the beast is out, telling people not, not to take it. If you are in Christ, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. The devil's children will be, will be sealed with the mark. That's the difference. But those who are not saved yet, they're the ones who really need to worry because this is a snare. And if you start getting, you know, taking this stuff and then the next one and the next one and the next, how many shots? What, what, eight boosters? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What, that should, that alone should tell you something's wrong. This thing's crooked. It was crooked from the beginning. I've gone over it a lot. I can't go over it all. People ask me still, you know, but I've, I, I have talked about it a lot. Yes, it's very, 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 very evil. Yes, it will destroy you. It will destroy your immune system and kill you. And thousands have already died and will die. Okay, but at this point, when you see all this going on, you can't, there's no fear-mongering that would even qualify as fear-mongering anymore because it's a fearful thing. This thing, the final stage will be the mark of the beast when you have to prove you got all the shots. And, but people will know, but if you're not saved now and you're letting them seduce you into this, all these lies, you have a, you're going to be very vulnerable, very vulnerable. It's going to break you down. It's going to break you down. That's why it's called a snare. You don't get involved in this thing because then the Bible says when you take the mark of the beast, you will go to hell. All will go to hell. And the unsaved absolutely are in danger. And that's why you cannot, how fearful is that to go to hell and burning fire and brimstone and torture and screaming and agony the rest of eternity that's what hell is and it's real and the only way out to not go there is through Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus you receive him as your savior and receive his blood atonement for your sins and ask him to save you and believe in him he's the son of God and he will save you and, and you have to mean it this is real this stuff is real and you can have a real relationship with God with Jesus and the Father the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. The most loving, incredible love I ever felt in my life is from Him. God Almighty, He loves you so much. So, take it seriously, this stuff's coming. There will be destruction at the rapture, the time of the rapture, and it's going to be big. Why do you think this, this, all these lies and plagues and this, uh, this forced stuff they're making people do, it's worldwide. The Bible says uh, Jesus will come, it will be like the days of Noah. The flood was worldwide. Okay, This is not a local situation anymore. This is worldwide. The one world order beast system is literally taking stage in front of us right now. And that's why we're leaving now. Because we are not appointed to the rulership of the Antichrist or the wrath of God or the wrath of the Lamb. So, uh, so God bless you guys and I will talk to you later.